Hi everybody, it's Monday evening. Welcome back to another week of Meals on the Family Seesaw. So tonight we're having a fish supper. So I've got two pieces of the yellowfin tuna steak there and these two pieces are sea bass which have um, coriander, lime and chilli on them. So I've just cooked all four pieces um, to sort of mix and match a little bit. I've got some asparagus that I've just sautéed off in the pan there. I've got some new potatoes that have been steamed and just tossed in a little butter. Over here we've got some baby leaf salad, a few little um, multicoloured cherry tomatoes left there, some cucumber. I love avocado with fish so I've got half an avocado chopped. I made a little mayo dressing here, it's um, a mixture of mayo and some sriracha and a little bit of Worcester sauce. So it's a bit of a seafoody but with a spice, spicy kick to it. And then over there you will see Caleb's got some fish fingers. He is going to have a piece of the tuna. He said he'd like to try that. So, um, but he's got fish fingers to go with his as well. So a fish supper for a Monday night, um, leading up to another bank holiday weekend. So looking forward to the week ahead. Um, but it seems like a long day today because last week we just got back from a holiday and then it was a short week. So today seemed like a really long day. Um, this week will probably seem quite long, but we do have the reward of a three-day weekend at the end of it. So we're off to enjoy our Monday night fish dinner. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday evening and tonight we're having a steak dinner. So we've got some of these that we usually have a little frying steaks. I was going to do baked potatoes, but we haven't had mash in ages. I don't remember last time we had mashed potatoes. So I've made some cheesy mash instead. We've got corn on the cobs and I've got a little bit of salad with mine. So that's my piece of steak. Caleb has piece he's taken a bite out of his already um, with the corn, the mash and some ketchup and then Tony's got the same dinner but he's got pork steaks instead of beef steak. So steak supper for Tuesday night. Hi everybody so it's Wednesday evening and just wanted to show you this before I pop it in the oven. So we're having chicken chorizo and sweet potato bake tonight. Um, so this is bone-in skin on chicken thighs. I just seasoned them with salt and pepper and did them in um, the pan in a little bit of oil for about five minutes on the skin side and then about three or four minutes on the other side just to start them cooking and then I've added them into the roasting pan with um, some you can see there's some chopped up chorizo so this is like the um, chorizo sausage the pieces of sausage um, that you can chop up rather than the slices like pepperoni slices um, I've also got two large one small sweet potatoes in there that I've just diced up I've got a chopped onion in there you could use red onion I just happen to have um, brown onions in the cupboard. Um, the rosemary plant in our garden has flown, come back into full bloom. <laughs> um, rosemary going mad out there under the sage. So I've got some fresh rosemary scattered around and then I've got about a teaspoon of chili flakes sprinkled over the top. I put a tablespoon of oil, drizzled it over and just kind of mixed everything together. That's now going to cook in a 200 degree oven for about 40 minutes and then we'll serve it with some salad this evening. So I'll show you it when we're ready to plate up, but I just wanted to show you the prep stage for this one. So that's the finished plate. You can see you've got the sweet potatoes, crispy chicken, some chorizo, um, there's rosemary and chili flakes and the onion. And then rather than salad, I just really decided I wanted some baked beans. I think I just wanted an orange plate of food because <laughs> everything's orange. Um, but I just fancied baked beans this evening. So that's what I'm having instead of salad. Um, but yep, that's our Wednesday night baked um, tray. It's kind of like a tray bake with chicken, chorizo and sweet potatoes. Hi everybody, so it's Thursday evening and tonight I was going to do like grilled sausages with either baked potatoes and salad or mash and veg but it's turned really miserable here tonight, it's quite cold, it's raining um, and so I just decided to do sausage casserole instead. So this is just um, a pack of sausages with mushrooms, onions and peppers and then a pack of the sausage casserole seasoning mix. So I happen to have the Aldi one, you cook that in the oven for about an hour and then we've got a big pot of mashed potatoes to go with it and I did just um, heat up a can of um, garden peas. So that's our Thursday night comforting, we've sort of gone back to winter weather outside um, so I just fancied something quite comforting. Um, so this is our Thursday night dinner um, we're back to the end of another week ready for the weekend starting tomorrow evening. Hi everybody, it's Friday evening and tonight we're having takeaway. We've chosen to have pizza this week. So I've got the veggie pizza, which is my absolute favourite. Caleb's favourite is pepperoni. 
and Tony's is ham and pineapple. So we've got some of each. I don't think Caleb or I will eat a whole pizza, but you never know with Caleb, he sometimes does. Um, but Tony, to be safe, has got two. So um, we're off to enjoy our Friday night pizza takeaway. Hi everybody, so it's Saturday evening and this evening we've got um, sort of a combination of things really. So if you've ever had tapas, one of my favourite tapas dishes is patatas bravas, which is little potatoes just roasted with some tomatoes and sometimes chorizo with it as well. So I've done that because I just fancied that kind of flavour profile. But then I've added some of the skinless, boneless chicken thigh fillets, which I've just coated with a little bit of paprika. Sprinkled the whole thing with a little bit of um, olive oil, roasted in the oven. I did the potatoes and the chicken for about half an hour first, and then I added the tomatoes and the chorizo for another half an hour. And when it came out, I just sprinkled over some um, fresh torn basil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar, as that's another kind of tapasy flavour. So we're going to have that this evening. Oh, there's some um, whole cloves of garlic in there as well. Um, I've got a bag of salad there to have with it. Um, so quite a kind of light but really kind of homey. I love the tapas kind of flavours, the Spanish tapas. Um, and this kind of incorporates several of those um, with some salad. So Saturday night, um, it's been a miserable start to the bank holiday weekend. The weather's been, we've had hail, we've had rain, we've had wind today. So I'm hoping it improves as the weekend goes on. But for now, Saturday night tea. Hi everybody, so it's Sunday evening and tonight we've got oven baked pork chops with roast potatoes and steamed vegetables. So these are just the boneless pork slices. Um, all I do is I brush a little bit of oil over them and then I had a mixture of brown sugar, garlic powder, paprika, some Italian herb seasoning and a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix that all together and just... Um, and I pushed it onto the, pressed it onto the outside of the pork chops, then put them on a foil lined pan and baked them in the oven for just over half an hour um, at about 180, 190 degrees. Um, they come out really tender and juicy and you get the nice flavours from the, from the seasoning. So a little bit of a different way of doing pork chops for us. Um, we usually pan fry them, but uh, I didn't want to stand and fry them tonight. I just wanted to put them in the oven and be done. So... Um, that's what we've got tonight. So that's my plate. That's Caleb's plate. And you can see these are the pork chops. So you do get quite a lot of liquid come from them. That's not extra oil. That's just from the pork chops themselves. And then as the sugar melts down, it kind of creates a bit of a juice as well. Um, but that's what keeps them moist and juicy while they cook. So, yep, off to enjoy our pork chop dinner for Bank Holiday Sunday.